let's discuss the Charles Law Lab, specifically how it relates to absolute zero. The students say, teach us about absolute zero, and then this cat replies, okay. So in the Charles Law Lab, you are asked to determine the relationship um, graphically between temperature in degrees Celsius and the length of a sample of trapped gas inside of a capillary tube. So what you did is you plunged a capillary tube into hot oil. You can see the oil was somewhere around 100 and, I don't know, 120 degrees or so. Hard to say from looking at the graph. Um, and then when you took the capillary tube out, there was a small plug of oil. And as you allowed that volume of trapped gas to cool, you saw that the oil plug advanced towards the tip of the capillary tube. So as the temperature of that sample of trapped gas cooled, the volume of that sample also decreased. So you can see that there's a direct relationship. As the temperature went down, the volume of the gas went down. So your graph should look something like this with all of your data kind of consolidated in one spot up here. Now you're probably wondering why we asked you to make a graph that went down to minus 350 degrees when, of course, the coldest that your sample got was about 20 degrees. Well, here's why. If, if you make a best fit line and then you extend that best fit line, that's something called extrapolation. That's a great word to know. If you extrapolate this line all the way here to where the length of this trapped gas is zero, so the volume of this trapped gas would be zero. If you extrapolate the line to that point, it crosses the x-axis right here. This is minus 273 degrees C. So what happens if you continue with the line and it goes down? Well, th then you kind of reach a territory where you would have um, a length of capillary tube less than zero centimeters. So the volume of the trapped gas would be negative. Well, that's not really possible. Because it's not possible to have a negative volume, the coldest possible temperature for a gas, or anything for that matter, is minus 273 degrees Celsius. That's called absolute zero. So absolute zero is theoretically the coldest temperature possible. And molecules would occupy zero volume at that temperature. Um, additionally, the molecules would be motionless because they would have no kinetic energy. They would have no energy of motion. And it's not possible for gas molecules to take up zero volume because the gas molecules themselves have some volume to them. So absolute zero, um, it's never been attained as far as I know. Um, right now, it, it's theoretically the coldest temperature possible. And once again, it's minus 273 degrees Celsius. Now, if we convert that to Kelvin, so we plug in minus 273 plus 273, that comes out to 0K, or OK. So now, hopefully, you understand that silly cat joke. And hopefully, you have a stronger understanding of absolute zero as well.